Brim Larson with Brigham Larson Channels, and we have three U1s in stock right now. We try to have at least two at all times. This is a super, super popular piano. We can't even keep them in stock. Um, so I just I just look for them. I'm always um, on the hunt for, for U1s. They're just awesome pianos. I've sold hundreds of them over the years. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so right now it's really exciting. Okay, so we have two that are 1978. That's these two right here. Um, both of them are totally refurbished, totally in, in perfect condition, both cosmetically and functionally. So, so um, yeah, and then, and then this one, also same thing, perfect condition, uh, inside, outside. This one's a 1988, I believe, so, so 10 years newer. But uh, in any case, functionally, they're, they're, like, they're like you. Um, the, the U1, uh, I, I would assume that if you're watching this video, you're, you're at least somewhat aware that the U1 is an extremely popular piano. Um, Yamaha claims it's the very best-selling piano of all time. The U series is the top Yamaha series. They're, they have different tiers, so, so you, the U series, U1, U3, these are the very best Yamaha uprights. And then the next tier is uh, is the uh, is the P series. That's like the P22 that you see a lot of times in um, institutions. But I see them. I work on them in homes as well. I see the P, P series. And then the lowest series. This is this is the B series. So like the B2, B3. These are these are pianos that uh, where where they're compared to the U. Series they're they're a significantly lower lower tier. They're they're not manufactured in Japan the way these are, um, and a lot of corners are cut. Essentially, what what Yamaha did was a very smart um, smart marketing move is to capitalize on the on the success that the U series has had. But as the price has gone up over the over the years and over the decades, um, they have alienated the lower priced market. Um, people can no longer afford them, so they've come out with a with a lower tier, these lower tier pianos, um, and that's the B series, which uh, which I mean still is, is good, but they're not great the way the way the U ones are. Okay, so 48 inches, what the what what the U one is, which which I've long recommended to people. That's where a real piano, real upright piano begins. Below that, it. It's still a piano. I'd still prefer it to a digital piano, but it's not going to be um, what a uh, um, what 48 inch is. Of course, the bigger the better. Some, and I've, I've even heard it said, by the way, that uh, that 48 inches is even ideal. Some, personally, I say the bigger the better. So 50 inches, 52 inches, bring it on for me. But I have heard some people claim that 48 inches is the ideal, and that uh, and that. 50 inches and 52 is too much. Um, I don't agree. I just say, you know, bring it off. But, but 48 inches is great. Okay, so let's let's hear them just in quick sequence.
years, this one's actually my favorite. Um, I just really like the warmth, and it, and it still projects like uh, similar to, to these other two. But uh, this would be my pick. Um, but uh, that's just that's just personal taste. So uh, come in, check them out. We got three in all at once. That's like unheard of. And we can we can ship anywhere in the country. We have shipped all over to many many states. So that's and it's actually surprisingly reasonable to ship like a 600 pound or whatever this weighs 600 pound object. It's um, surprisingly reasonable. Uh, but if you're local, the address here is 1497 South State Street in Orem. Thanks for watching.